Hello everyone! My ear itches and that was not fun. So I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour right now because I'm bored and home alone for like two hours. So uh, here's my new updated bookshelf. I hope you enjoy it. So here it is. It's a little bit different than before, uh, obviously. I've sold some books and bought some new books and stuff, so it's a little messy. My room is a little messy, so I apologize if you see any trash or anything. It's because I'm a pack rat. Up here, I have my Yu-Gi-Oh! deck box, which I keep just because. A uh, Ranma and Half box up there, that was for the series. Uh, Naruto, uh, figurine, this is a soccer trophy I got in, I think, 2004, I think, 2002, Dylan, it is 2002, I am old, uh, there's, there's a baseball poster behind Naruto, uh, or poster, that's not a poster, that's a freaking trophy, that was 2004, that's what I was thinking, and then I, uh, gift cards from, Kyochan, which is kind of funny. They're both there, and these are both from Kyochan. Ooh, and hey, there, there I am at second base, my favorite position ever. I still love baseball. So here are my books. Um, this is the first shelf. So let's get into it. Starting off, I have my Mitch album books right here, which is who he's one of my favorite authors ever. He's amazing. I have Two Days with Maury. Uh, the the, the uh, uh, what's this? The five people you meet in heaven. I'm not. I'm, I my hammer work is horrible. I'm sorry. And then up, oh, it's going under there. That's not good. For one more day, and I uh, have a little faith. I have only read these two, and they are both phenomenal. I love this author. He's so inspirational. I I I, I oh my god, I love him so much. I have Speak, Twisted, and Winter Girls by Lori House Anderson. Winter Girls is absolutely beautiful and amazing. I love that book. But I haven't read Speak or Twisted yet, so I need to get on that. I have 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, which I haven't read yet. Geektastic Stories from the Hood. I've also never read that. Going Bovine by Libba Bray, I have not read. I'm going to stop saying that because a lot of these books I haven't read, so yeah, just keep that in mind, and I feel like the lighting is so weird right now. I'm so out of practice. Anyway, The Hate List by Jennifer Brown, Smack, Doing It, Blood Tide, uh, Nicholas Dane, and Nicholas Dane by Melvin Burgess. This is the UK cover, which I bought recently. It was only $3, so amazing. Uh, and this is my American version, of course. Um, I love this author. I've only read Nicholas Dane, though, so I need to get re on reading the other three. But he's an amazing author. I definitely recommend him. However, he is a very, very, very dark author who writes about very mature content, so keep that in mind. I have Abandoned by Meg Cabot, or Cabot, I don't know how to pronounce her name. This was given to me by Krista from Cubicle Blindness, and it has two bookmarks in there. One is Witch Eyes by Scott Tracy, which is signed, and another bookmark of Indelible, which is also signed by the author. I don't know who signed Indelible, though. I don't know the author's name. The Beginning of Asher by Chris, uh, Jennifer Castle, which I need to read. The Hunger Games Trilogy by Suzanne Collins. I love this trilogy. It's probably my favorite series ever. Uh, Nevermore by Kelly Cray. I also love that book. I can't wait for In Shadow. It comes out on August 26th. I don't remember. It's in August. I hope. Or was it September? I don't know. I forget. It comes out soon, though, and I'm excited. I have Clockwork Angel and Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare, which I still need to read. I've read, like, a... 25% of Crockwork Angel, but I didn't finish it. I, I don't know why. I, I It's just, I think it's because of her writing or something. I do like her. She's a good writer, but it's so, like, descriptive, and I just get distracted so easily. I have Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan, which I still need to read. I've been putting that off for years. I need to read that. Down here on the second shelf, I have my books kind of arranged like this. This is the next book in alphabetical order. Uh, the Chemistry, Miss Education, I'm pointing to the Maze Runner. The Miss Education of Cameron Post by Emily M. Danforth, who is an Apocalypses. I believe she's on the Apocalypses channel. Uh, check that out. Um, this book looks really good. I need to read it. It's a debut. And then we have The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Uh, In This Way I Was Saved by Brian DeLue. Someone Like You and The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. And then over here, we have Wither by Lauren De Stefano. Uh, Before I Die and You Against Me by Jenny Downham. I love You Against Me. That was a brilliant book. I love it. 
Uh, very dark. Uh, then we have Night Angel's Book of Love by Abra Ebner, which Leanne sent me. And, yeah, I still have the note still. It's still in there. Um, we have Leaving Paradise, Return to Paradise, Perfect Chemistry, Rules of Attraction, and Chain Reaction by Simone Elklez, who is one of my favorite authors of all time. She is amazing. I love her so much. She's so good at contemporary romance. I love her. And the good just keep on coming. With or Without You by Brian Ferry. Oh my god, this book. Oh my god, this book. I have so much love for this book. You do not understand how much I love this book. It is just absolutely phenomenal. I could talk about this book all day. I definitely recommend it. It's so It's really, really dark. So keep that in mind. But I recommend it. I think this is a book that everyone should read. Um, if you're old enough to answer, handle the mature content, because it's very, very dark. Uh, Hush, Hush, Crescendo, and Silence by Becca Fitzpatrick. I still need to read Crescendo and Silence. Um, I liked, I really, really liked Hush, Hush, though. So, hopefully I like these, too. Then I have If I Stay by Gail Foreman, Gone by Michael Grant, uh, my Claudia Gray books, Evernight, Stargazer, Hourglass, and Faithful. I need to read, um, these two, but I really liked Stargazer a lot, so I like this author. And then, John Green, who is phenomenal. I love him. He is brilliant. Looking for Alaska, which is brilliant. Uh, An Abundance of Catherines, which I still haven't read. I tried reading it, and I just could not get into it. Uh, Paper Towns, Will Grayson, Will Grayson. And two copies of The Fault in Our Stars, which are all amazing. Oh my gosh, this author is amazing. I love him so much. Yeah, oh, I can't even describe it. And Will Grayson, Will Grayson is also by David Levithan as well. So, I love him too. Oh my gosh. So, so good. And so many feels. Oh, my God. Then I have Stay With Me by Paul Griffin. I have uh, Memories, uh, Memoirs, not Memories, Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. Dylan, you idiot. Then I have Eon by Allison Goodman. Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. And The Summer I Turn Pretty by Jenny Han. Dear Bully, which is edited by Carrie Jones and Something Hall. Megan... Uh, Riley, Megan Kelly Hall, that is not an R, Dylan, that's a K, you idiots. Then one of my favorite books of all time, The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. I love this book so much. It's what got me into reading. It is phenomenal. And then I have Hawks Harbor by her as well, which I still need to read. I'm not going to pull that out because it's going to make all these books fall. I have Crank and Glass by Ellen Hopkins right here. And you can see my manga back there, too. I was trying to change this into a manga shelf, but I'm kind of regretting that mis decision because I love this bookshelf, so... Anyway, the next shelf, I have a lot of crap in front, but I'm not going to go through that. I have all my other Helen Hopkins books. I have Fallout, Burned, Impulse, Perfect, Identical, Tricks, and Triangles, which is every book she's ever published so far until uh, her new book, uh, what's it called? Oh, crap. Um, her new book comes out, Tilt. That's what it's called. Holy crap. And also, just a side note, Crank and Glass are signed, as well as Burned, Impulse, and Identical. They're all signed, because I love her. I met her in 2010, and she is a brilliant, brilliant lady. She is so funny and so amazing. I love her so much. Then right here, I have A Thousand Splendid Sons and The Kite Runner by Halid Hosseini, who is amazing. Uh, oh my god, I love his book so much, and I'm so mad at him right now, because... When did A Thousand Splendid Sons come out? I think 2007. And he has not published a book since. What the hell is wrong with you? I, I, I know. I need therapy. I know. I have Losing Faith by uh, Something Jaden. Denise Jaden. I'm sorry, Denise. Up there is my postcard from a, a friend who I love. So I just keep that up there because I treasure it because she's my friend. And so, yeah. I have Perfect World by Brian James, uh, The Brina's Triangle, 13 Little Blue Envelopes, and Sweet Scarlet by Maureen Johnson. I don't know why I'm doing this weird accent, which is not even the country at all. And then I have Need by Carrie Jones. I am doing another accent because I'm bored and I'm done. Please ignore Vera Deez by A.S. King. The Iron Thorn by Katrin. Caitlin Kittridge. Oh my goodness. This is Heavy Metal in You by Christopher Crovaton and Crovaton, I think. Um, and Ballads of Suburbia by Stephanie Kiedert, which is an amazing book. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Dark content, but highly recommended. So good. 
Uh, Just Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, probably my favorite classic of all time. I love her, and this book is amazing. I have Boy Meets Boy, The World of the Realm of Possibility, Wide Awake, How We Met Under Stories, uh, Lovers of Higher Law, uh, Lovers Dictionary, and Ever You Ever Me by David Levithan, which are amazing books. I love him. I haven't read all these, actually. I've only read uh, The Realm of Possibility, uh, Lovers of Higher Law, and The Lovers Dictionary, which are all amazing. I love his books. They're so good. And I have uh, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, which is so good. I love that book. It's really cute, but also has a dark undertone as well, and I love it. It's so good. Down here, I have Hold Me Closer, Necromancer by uh, something McBride, Lish McBride, I think. Uh, then I have all my Cormac McCarthy books, who I love. That is Outer Dark, Blood Meridian, and The Road. The Road is so good. I never talk about it, but it's so, so good. Please read that book. Down here are the books that I'm uh, either currently reading or is from the library. Uh, this is what I'm reading right now. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I really, really love this book, actually. I'm very, very, very surprised by it so far. I'm that far in. Expect a review at some point in the future. And because I love this book so much, I bought all of these books. Yeah, I'm insane like that. I have Frostbite, which is book two, and then books four through six, Blood Promise, Spiritbound, and Last Sacrifice. Again, I love this book so far, and that is why I have these already. They are so good. I, I cannot believe how much I like this book so far. And my library books are The Vast Fields of Ordinary by Nick Bird and Glimpse by Carol Lentz Williams, which I have a review of this on We Read Books. If you want to check it out, it is a good book. Very good. I liked it a lot. Okay, we can move these books on the ground somewhere. I have, let's see, Taken by Storm and Sing Me to Sleep by Angela Morrison. Sing Me to Sleep is absolutely beautiful and amazing. Invincible Summer by Hannah Moskowitz. I have all my Brian, uh, no. This is, this is not Brian James. This is, um, Christ, what is his name? Oh my god, Jason Myers. I am like, oh my god, I am so stupid. Exit Here, The Mission, Dead End, and Run the Game, all by Jason Myers. I've only read these two. This book is absolutely phenomenal. This one. This one is good, but I hate, 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 hate the main character. And I'm also currently reading this book, by the way. Um, I'm like that far in, so I need to finish that. That's really good so far, but I just haven't been able to read it for some reason. I have Bliss and Shine by Lauren Miracle, which I really need to read. Um, the Rum, oh, no, The Sky is Everywhere by Jenny Nelson, which I also need to read. Breathe My Name by Aria Nelson, uh, the, knife of letting, letting, the Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Move these books out the way, bitches. Then I have Fight Club, uh, what's this, Invisible Monsters, Choke, uh, Diary, no, Lullaby, then Diary, then Haunted, then Rant, Pygmy, Tell All, and Damned by Damn Chuck Palahniuk. I love Chuck Palahniuk so much. He's so good. He's like the best satiristic, satiristic author ever. I love him. That I've read anyway. I love him. Uh, I've only read Invisible Monsters and Choke, which are... This is amazing, and this was really, really good. I really liked this. This is a really good social commentary on basically sex. So, yeah. And then we have, uh, what's this? Define Normal and Luna by Julianne Peters, which I still need to read. And up there I have my classics collections of Jack London and The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, who are two of my favorite classics authors of all time. Then down here I have, uh, the Monster Hunter International and Monster Hunter Vendetta, which are both signed by the author, because I met him recently. Or, like, last year, actually. And then we have a cluster F of books and shit that I need to freaking move because this is like, I have nine minutes left to film and I'm like freaking out. Holy crap. And they're all falling. They're falling. Oh my God. Move, 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 move. Oh God. Okay. Um, it is so like, it's like toe up and dark down there. So forgive the darkness because I don't know how to light that. I'm going to zoom in. How about that? I'm going to try this. See if this will work better. On the left, you have uh, Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins, which I love. She's a phenomenal author. I love her so much. Her books make me so happy. And then Just One Wish by Jenny... No. Janine Rallison. Can you read that? I can't read that at all. Um, damn camera. And then I have Falling for Hamlet by Michelle Ray. Uh, Be Bleeding Violet by Dia Reeves. Maybe by Brent Runyon, which I still need to read. I bought that at a Borders Closing Sale. It's so short, I could read it in a day, but I haven't read it yet. And then my Alex Sanchez books. I love him so much. 
Rainbow Boys, So Hard to Say, Bates, and, um, what's that last one? Boyfriends and Girlfriends. Or Boyfriends with Girlfriends, rather. I'm sorry, my mouth is watering, and I'm tongue-tied right now, so I'm sorry. Bait is an amazing book, though. I love that book. I Have Blindness by Jose Saramago. Uh, you, uh, what's this one? It's something about a ghost. What is that called? It's Alicia Schroeder book, and it's about a ghost. I forget the title. Damn it. Jaja, baja, baja, baja. I heart you, you haunt me. There. My God. I hate myself. And then I have Living Dead Girl by uh, Elizabeth Scott. Uh, the, the, the Between Shades of Grey. I'm so tongue-tied. By Ruta Sapetis, which I still need to read. Unwind by Neil Schutzterman. I'll Be There by Holly Goldberg Sloan. I think. Lock Down Escape from the Furnace by uh, uh, Graham Smith. Something Graham Smith. And then Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. Uh, can you tell I did not plan this at all? Can you tell? I'm, like, so freaking awesome, right? Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. Uh, Battle Royale by Koshu Nakami. I love that movie and the manga, but I have not read that book yet. Nothing by Yane Teller. Witch Eyes by Scott Tracy. I have the bookmark signed by him. That's the, that's the book I was talking about earlier. Night Runner by Max Turner. The Rules of Survival by Nancy Worland. Uh, the Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. He is also one of my favorite, um, classic authors. I love Oscar Wilde. He is brilliant, brilliant man. Parrotfish by Ellen Whitlinger. Uh, The Replacement by Brenner Yovanoff. And also, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And I might as well show these two, because they're on the bookshelf. Uh, this one is The Reality of Function Part 1 by... Peter F. Hamilton, my friend, got this for me. Uh, this was the original format. It was originally published as two books, but it's one book with two parts, so that's kind of funny. Oh, come here, you idiot books. I have my Roald Dahl books, or some of them at least, by uh, Roald, Roald Dahl. Um, wow, of course it's by Roald Dahl. Matilda, Boy, The Magic Finger, The Twits, and BFG. I love this author. This is one of my... This is an author that basically introduced me to reading. I never read these books, but they were read to us in class, and I love him. He is hilarious. The Twits is... Move. The Twits is probably one of the funniest books I've ever read. It is so hilarious. I love this book. So, yeah. And that's my bookshelf. Look at how amazingly... Oh, it's got to zoom out again. Hold on. That is my bookshelf. And yeah, I'm happy about it. This is going to be an incredibly long video. And I'm sorry for making you sit through this. But I hope you still enjoyed it and stuff. Because I love this bookshelf. And I also have books over here. Which I'm not going to go through. But there you go. There's a bunch of other books right there. Books on the floor. Video games. Books over there, bags from Hastings, because I buy books like every day, my TV collection, more TV collection and video games over there, and then I have my lamp, which never works because I don't have a light bulb for it, and then, yeah, this is like becoming a room tour, but my god, bookshelf, yay! I love you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. So, I'll see you guys next time. Anyway, I love you, Bye bye